Hi readers, I have a real problem today. I'm going on vacation next week. I have way too many books and I know that I'll be lucky if I can read one or two of them while I'm away. So here's what I have waiting for me. Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. Um, I love books with that go gothic flair. Um, I loved Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, so I love that kind of stuff. I have All, Th All Boys Aren't Blue, a memoir manifesto by George M. Johnson. This book is being challenged in some areas of the country, and I want to read it for myself, as I do with other books that are banned or challenged. I, I want to know what, the, what people believe the problem is with that book. Um, that, so that one's a little heavy. I also have Miss Blaine's Prefect and the Golden Samovar by Olga Wojtas, Watch, Wojtas, I don't know how to pronounce the last name, W-O-J-T-A-S. And this book is the first in a mystery series with an awesome librarian for a sleuth. And I am a sucker for mysteries that um, have librarians trying to solve the crime. And that reminds me, I have a book line and sinker also because it's a library lover's mystery and I think it's number three. So um, you, I have a real soft spot for librarian books. And I have Dead Silence. This just came for me today. This is so not my kind of book. This is a, um, a fantasy science fiction book, but the review was so good that I decided I was gonna read it. This might be the first one I read on vacation because I'm kind of interested in seeing what it's all about. This is Dead Silence by S.A. Barnes. I might be back to tell you which one is my favorite, so keep an eye on us in the next few months. Talk to you later, bye. Hi, I am Patty Pennick, and I am the head of youth services at the Goffstown Public Library. Today, as I was preparing what materials I wanted to share with you, I started thinking about the term book series. And it occurred to me, at least for me, usually when I hear book series, I think of chapter books. I think of adult books, I think of teen books, and even upper elementary books. But you may not know that children's picture books, even board books sometimes, have series special characters that have multiple books and titles. And I thought of one of my favorites uh, that is somewhat obscure, and that is Olive, who I think, but I'm not sure, is a cat. I see a tail, I see some pointy ears, I think Olive is a cat. So I wanted to share three of my favorite titles. The first one is Olive and the Bad Mood. All of us can uh, relate to that, I'm sure. Then there's Olive and the Embarrassing Gift. Apparently Olive receives a gift and she's too embarrassed to use it in front of others. But then she hurts her friend's feelings and has to uh, make amends. And then my all-time favorite, and actually the title in the Olive series that first grabbed me, was Olive and the Big Secret. I mean, who doesn't want to know the secret? I read this title really wanting to know what the secret was. And I'm not gonna tell you what it was, you'll have to read it to find out. So next time you're here at the library, stop by and I will share Olive with you. Hey everyone, this is Rob from the Gotham Public Library. This week's book is The Wildlands by Abby Jeannie. Small synopsis of it, brother runs away, a tornado ravages in a showdown at a zoo. Highly recommended, thank you. Every now and then you find an author who you follow through everything that they write, thick or thin. For me, Geraldine Brooks is one of those authors, and she's out with a new book that is astounding. It's called Horse. It's about a 19th century racehorse who won quite a bit and was rather a character. And the book is about not only the horse and the young African-American man, enslaved African-American man, who takes care of the horse, but people in the 21st century who are following the horse's history and his skeleton. Horse by Geraldine Brooks, a marvelous, marvelous book. Hi everyone, I'm Liz in Adult Services, and for this week's Pick of the Week, I'm actually revisiting an older favorite. Um, so one of my favorite books is The Doomsday Book by Connie Willis, and please forgive the very 90s cover. Um, 
So Connie Willis is a fantastic writer who writes a lot of science fiction, but she sort of sets it all in a similar universe. She writes in about a near future, uh, so our world in what looks like a very possible and near future where time travel has been created. However, it is only used under the strictest of rules and is only used by historians to study and not interfere with history. So these books are about historians who are traveling to the past to learn something or just to write their like graduate school dissertations who um, you know, cause problems in the past. Uh, this one, however, is my favorite of the series, uh, the Doomsday Book. It is about a student at Oxford College named Kivrin who goes back to the Middle Ages, um, but something doesn't go quite right and she doesn't end up in the year that she thinks that she is supposed to. Um, and so if you're familiar with the Middle Ages, you'll remember the bubonic plague. Uh, so that is something that was not supposed to affect Kivrin's travels at all. However, she ends up right in the middle of it. So it's the story of her trying to get back and contact the people who are in charge of bringing her back to uh, you know, her normal time and era. So what I love about Connie Willis is, well, I love historical fiction, and this is a great blend of sci-fi and historical fiction. But I also love that she always writes these books that have an enormous emotional impact. Like, you will be crying your way through many sections of this book. But there's always also like a madcap, sort of almost slapstick element of people scrambling around, more characters than you think you could keep track of, scrambling around, doing things that seem uh, maybe or maybe not related to the problem at hand, who and in the end, everything eventually comes together and it's not in the way that you expected. And sort of the thing that you thought was just a minor detail said off the cuff is the thing that brings it all together. So I love Connie Willis. I highly recommend the Doomsday Book. Um, and I would also recommend some of her other books in this sort of universe, um, especially uh, Blackout and All Clear, which are two books that are the same story, um, which takes place in during World War II. So Connie Willis's The Doomsday Book and other series in the Oxford time travel adventures, I highly recommend.